welcome back folks. I know it's been a little while since we last did a video. Um, sorry about that, but we haven't been slacking off. We've been uh, hard at work behind the scenes and um, this is uh, something very special. We've been working really hard at, especially Steve Robertson. So uh, Steve Robertson from Bolt Action Productions, aka Robbo. Uh, he's been an absolute gentleman and, uh, and taken it upon himself to uh, see, see he's a much better editor than me. So. I've pretty much handballed all of the uh, the footage and uh, and he's come up with a, a fantastic edition and a series of videos to, that we're going to share with you guys across both channels. So it came about, we um, were both planning a trip in a similar area and um, this season the bushfires uh, got in the way of that and then there were some closures and this, that and the other. So we changed our plan, we, we, uh, we learned to be flexible with these things and um, as it came about, we had an absolute blast. We set off for 10 days. I think we stayed out for about eight in the end. Absolute pristine weather in the high country, a new spot for many of us. And a couple of firsts and a couple that won't reveal too much, but there was a couple of uh, really, really good highlights that went down. So uh, we'll get straight to it. I'll, uh, I'll hand you over to Robbo and um, yeah, put the kettle on. I hope you enjoy these guys. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, head over to Bold Action Productions if you haven't heard of him. I'm sure if you're watching my channel, you're already a, a subscriber to his. But uh, happy days, stay safe out there. We're back at it. This time, we're pretty high up. We're actually at about 1,400 metres. It's actually, it's not as bad as we thought. Hopefully you can see me, because it's got quite dark. It's mid-afternoon. Yeah, no, we stopped but, at every uh, shop between Melbourne and bloody Sydney. <laughs> yeah, that, that voice you can hear there is Azza. We've got a bit of a different crew this time. We've been invited away, highly invited away by Daz. Daz Hawkins, I'm sure you all know him from Into the Mountains. Daz, Azza, Ben, myself and Steve. Well, he's actually got up here before us. So we're not far off this campsite and I'm actually keen, actually very excited just to get into some new ground, new sort of country and explore. Because that's what hunting's always about, exploring new ground. suppose it's about now I've got to leave the heated seats. That wasn't part of the deal. This is what I like. A fire ready for me, ready built. <laughs> Good job Steve. He's the best camp bitch I've ever met. <laughs> it's starting to get pretty cold so we're calling it a night. We're still waiting for Dazza to get here. He should be here about 10.30ish I reckon. Daz, you see what I'm seeing? <laughs> <laughs> you sure you got enough shit, Daz? Probably not. Gonna get uh, crocs for you, Taz, the boys are going out overnight. I think, uh, I think Az is ready. All good to go. We'll be back Bye. by lunch if we're ready for more. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan, Daz? Daz, Daz Steve well, and Az are going out overnight, aren't you? Yeah, two nights, two nights out there. We yeah. did a bit of recce on this spot uh, a few weeks ago, found an active wallow, but we landed there in the middle of the day, so the plan, we want to be there for an afternoon sit and a morning sit, and the only way we're going to do that is to pack in and sit up nearby, so we'll set off, it's about, it's not too far actually, it'll only be about three and a half k's, but it's up and over into another system, and then we'll, we'll sit there and then, yeah, we'll leapfrog it We're tomorrow. supposed to catch them in the morning, that means we've got to climb a hill. You all set, Steve? Yeah, mate, I'm, 
Luck, Look at Ben, I think Ben's been waiting, he's saying, come on idiot, he's saying, come on. <laughs> Good luck boys. You too. We'll see, we'll see. Nice scope cover. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Can't take these boys anywhere. They shoot all the deer. <laughs> yeah, that's a good effort. Hey? <laughs> Cracker. What have you shot there, Steve? Got myself in the first stag. Hey? Do you have to work hard for that? No, not really. <laughs> I like the honesty. It's cold. It's hard getting up. Walking seven metres, that's it. Oh, we just entered this clearing and I was actually in front and I, I just spun around and said to Steve, this is a, you never know what's going to step out on these clearings and silly me I didn't look up and then I um, I got stopped by a few hisses behind me as uh, <laughs> as uh, pss, pss, and uh, and Steve had both seen this tag. You blokes, get all the easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done mate, I tell you. And look, now you brought the sun out. Yeah, that's it. It was snowing just before we shot him. Was it? Yeah, it cut a few flakes of snow. We never got that. We didn't pay. We didn't pay the extra money, Ben. <laughs> You're not right in there. Run it up on the blade. That's it. Yep, you got it. Go further back, or that's enough. Yep. Flank all the way back to here. So you'll you'll see as you come back to me, you'll see the line that you've got to be down to, just so that it gets the fur away yeah. as well. Sharp. Yeah, all the way to back. That's, your first, that's always your first cut, just your dorsal cut. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Then, if you lightly, just lightly take that sinew there, but again, watch the gut bag is underneath, just lightly, just take that away so you can see what you're doing. That's it, yep, like that. Follow that line. And then, what I like to do is, depending which way you want to start from, I like to start from here. Yep. I'll come through through that, there's that shoulder bone. So just, you're just gonna cut that, so that's Straight the end through. of, yep, that's the end of your, you're all in organs there too, so you can't go wrong. Yeah. You just go deep in there. Yep. See, so you want to start that start by picking that off. Yep. Now, and then chase, put your knife in there and scallop it out to this line. So where your hip comes up, which is here, see this hip? Yeah. That's the end of your back strap. Okay. Coming over the top of that. Yeah. So I'll just make a, a uh, like a cut straight through there, yeah, because that's otherwise it's on your lump. Oh, good job. That's my my eating right there. I've got a feeling of deja vu, <laughs> just about three hours later, or probably two hours later. But Steve's knocked over his first Samba stag. Nice yeah. uh, velvet one, it will eat very well, that animal. So, already Ben, we've got some backup protein. Look out. <laughs> Spot. I was getting the check out, but that's miles away. You just see that? On this side? On the other side? Uh, On the other side of the ridge? No, see how it's like our saddle there? You, you keep doing this to me, you're saying, you keep saying. I can't see it. You can't see it? Oh, but I'm taking your word for it. Yeah. He thinks I can see. It's two and a half k away though. Bit of snow on that peak over there. 
It's just start to melt. What's going on over here? I think he's having a soy latte or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. There we go. We're on top of the world here. Ben's living it up. Made a bit of a mistake earlier. I only forgot to take you guys with me. I left the bloody camera all the way back at camp where we put the gear. I didn't realise once it got to the noise at the top of the hill, so Steve and Azra are pushing on. And you know, I've just gone for a leisurely morning jog back to get it. So Glad you're still with us. <laughs> it's really hard with the pack to get over this stuff. It's kind of treacherous because it's all it all rolls on you and it's got moss on it. So, having the poles in here is uh, a safer way to go. I think a, uh, a rolled ankle on this stuff would be pretty bad. stag so it's a kind of the wrong time of day to glass this right now so we're gonna um we've got the boys here we're gonna have some lunch and then um it'll take us an hour and a half or so to get down and set up camp we're actually gonna camp on the right hand side of that clearing tonight and um hopefully first light um the horses will move off and we're hoping that the deer it'll be the deer's turn in there Well, we just got a little bit excited. I seen a dark object just facing up the hill. In the end, it's some brumbies. I thought, shit, that's a big deer. Ben fibbed to me today. He told me we we're going to go and sit on, sit on a clearing all day and just party on. <laughs> Six k's later, I'm sitting here now. It's a bit fresh. My legs are a little bit tired. I've got to stop sucking about it because I've got to do it again tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a full-on start to the day. A little bit quiet now, but as Ben just said to me, anything could happen. So we're going to sit here till pretty much just on dark and see what walks out on us. And then tomorrow, we're up early, well before daybreak, and we're gonna hike in a couple of k's, catch up with the boys, and hopefully glass uh, some clearings that we've had a little bit of a look at. So, i to do it all again tomorrow, Ben. <laughs> Round two. It's got a bit of a bowl time. Been 
I'll oh, set up camp now. Um, it's our fly camp for the next couple of nights. Um, we've come from up over that um, mountain up there. The boys, are, the plan is, there's a really good lookout up the top here. So in the morning, the other boys that are on the other side are going to come up and glass the clearing that's behind us that we can't see while we sit on this one. And we've got some um, some pretty good um, tents to go over. I'll give you a closer look at these later, but this is the um, Z-Pax duplex, uh, the Cuban fiber tent. Um, it's the old faithful wilderness equipment. Space two back up there, and as usual, this is the stratosphere. So you can see it's pretty uh, specky tent, this thing. It's waterproof zips. <coughs> also, Cuban fiber. Weighs about 800 grams, super roomy. Um, as you can see there he's all set up. He's also got the Z-Pax um, <coughs> sleeping bag there. So if it does come down tonight, it's, um, it'll keep him nice and warm. So you'll notice in the tarp tent just back there that it's a double wall, whereas this is a single. So this is um, all built in to one piece. And same thing, this thing here is um, quite light. I think it's under 700 grams as well. It should be sweet tonight. It's gonna be really cold, um, but the um, the snow that was forecast didn't actually come through, which was a nice treat. Fashion on field definitely goes to Azza. 